Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, ours is hot here in Northern California, too hot. And I bet we're going to have a horrendous fire season. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you today about a world of confusion. You know, we live in a world of confusion, and it's getting worse and worse all the time. Children are sent to school where the government teaches them lies, tells them that good is evil, evil is good. It is trying to completely pervert their minds. Uh, its, its goal is to, for them not to even know whether they're a little boy or a little girl. It tells them, nope, you can be what you want to be. Time they get to high school, they try to force the girls to shower with the boys. It's just, it's just getting horrible. This is what it says in Proverbs 24, verse 24 and 25. He that says to the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them which rebuke him shall be a delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. You know, I watch all kinds of surveys where they take on college campuses, and uh, the general consensus is among almost all college students is there is no truth. There is no such thing as truth. Your truth is not my truth. There's no good, there's no bad. We're free to do whatever we want as long as you don't hurt others. You don't have the right to tell me that my truth is wrong because that could hurt my feelings. <laughs> Snowflakes. <laughs> They're free to choose. There's no God. There's no judgment, no condemnation. They live by one rule. If it feels good, do it, because there is no truth. We are not educating these kids. We are indoctrinating them with the doctrine. They've been taught not to question authority, but to go with the flow. When there's no truth, there's absolute confusion. And that's why we live in a world of confusion right now. And the masses blindly follow. As we learn with this pandemic, the masses will do exactly what they're told and they'll never question why. This is what the masses believe. This is what our colleges are teaching these kids. The government is God. The government loves them and will care for them. The government has their best interests at heart. The government is the only one they can trust. Proverbs 24, 19 says, Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious of the wicked, for there shall be no reward for the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. People, do not fear. The rest of the world is in confusion, but it is our job to shed a little bit of light on that confusion, and that's what we're to be doing. One thing about the truth, there is absolute truth, and He will be returning at any time. Anyhow, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal. <laughs>